everybody it's titanic feet jack and i'm back at you again back with numbers 10 through 6 on the countdown for 2021 uh we had some interesting shoes that we have revealed so far and we're gonna keep the party going but before we get into that if you haven't already sub up to the channel hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts on the countdown thus far and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload right here on YouTube. If you want to follow me elsewhere, my socials are linked down in the description box. And also you can catch me in the Family Vibes Discord group as well. Now, without further ado, we're going to bring on number 10. This sneaker was really hype when it came out last year. Uh, very nice shooter release was kind of uh, botched, I should say, but... However, your boy got his hands on a pair. I'm talking about none other than the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royals. Yep, they still day in stock. Haven't worn them yet, but I'm getting around to it. I got my fit ready. I just gotta get the venue to go to, and now I'll be rocking these. This is number 10 on the countdown. Okay, number 9 on the countdown is a women release that came in extended size. And boy, was I happy it did come out and extend the size. We're talking about none other than the Air Jordan 1 Women's Silver Toe. There you go. Yes, I wore this one time. Yeah, I think I wore this for, uh, out to a birthday dinner. But yeah, the materials on here are really nice. Shout out to Jasmine Jordan doing her thing over there at the women's division for Jordan brand, giving us these nice sneakers. And look how nice the uh, collar is on the sock line. Nice and soft, what a level. This is a great sneaker, and this is number nine on the countdown. The number eight sneaker, uh, when I think of this sneaker, it brings bad weather, and it literally brought bad weather to me in my personal life because the day this sneaker released, I was in my car on my way evacuating to Houston uh, because of Hurricane Ida, which is why we just not seen this video a year later. But the sneaker has a nickname, have something to do with weather, and we talking about the Air Jordan Retro Full Lightning, the Lightning 4, guys. A re-release, I didn't get them on the initial release, but shout out to my boy Ray at Bayou Kicks that squared me away. And my boy, Physical Nightmare, he squared me away as well. Yep, I have two pairs of these. They made sure I was able to get this sneaker because the pair I hit on the sneakers app, UPS decided to send it back to Nike on their own because they couldn't deliver it due to the, uh, the situation down here. Before I could make a call to have UPS hold it, I was going to pick it up from the distribution center or the warehouse it was on its way back to Nike because back in the day before Hurricane Katrina your boy used to work over there so I was actually calling in a favor but it was too late so the number eight sneaker on the countdown is the Jordan 4 Lightning the number seven sneaker on the countdown is it's the Nike is not a Jordan it was some hype behind it, but these type of sneakers don't get that much hype because it's not a Jordan. We gonna take it down south to the 305, baby. We talking about the LeBron 8 South Beach. Yes, this sneaker is nice. I didn't get it on the first go around, but I made sure I got it this time. Yes, I haven't worn it yet, but this is a very clean sneaker. It definitely speaks Miami vibes. This came out initially when LeBron made that decision to go play for the Miami Heat to link up with D-Wade and Chris Bosh and boy, this is a banger. I really like this shoe, the LeBron 8 South Beach. Okay, and the number six sneaker on the countdown for today, and this will be the last sneaker today because you gotta come back to see the remainder of the countdown. But the number six sneaker, uh, I mean, it came out in the pack. I've never seen a pack released like this before. It was 50 of them. 50, not 50. 50 of them. 
50 pairs of sneakers that came out in this pack, and your boy got a lot too. You know, I'm talking about the Nike Don't Glow Off White. Lie too. Rest easy to Virgil. Yes, I like this colorway. It's the one I ever got. And y'all cool. You should see Lie too right there. But yeah, these are pretty nice. Gotta rock these. But uh, yeah, it was 50 of them came out. 49 of them, but majority would like this color white and gray. And number 50 was actually black. But I've learned the differences are on the overlays and toe box, they alternate by 10 in the materials. Like 1 through 10 is leather, 11 through 20 is suede. And 21 through 30 and so forth is leather and they've been alternating. And we got canvas material on the toe box. This is a clean off-white sneaker, but this is the number six sneaker on my countdown for 2021. And this will conclude the countdown for today. So please come back and catch the rest of the countdown so I reveal my top five sneakers of 2021. This is your boy Titanic Fee Jack. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.